Rockies. They are traveling to the Chicago Cubbies. And uh, that game opens up with uh, uh, the Cubs about a dollar forty favorite, and it's pretty much thirty-five to forty. The total opens up eight and a half. We're seeing it steamed up to nine. We have wind going to the southwest, seven point one miles an hour. So you know, even though it's not the south southwest, it's southwest, and that's good enough to get a little steam on the over. So a little action on that. So eight and a half. Dollar twenty-three a pinnacle right now. I jump on that because uh, that is the best price in town, and we are seeing uh, lot, uh, nine overs out there also. So get on that over as quick as you can. While you do that, let's take a look. The Rockies, they're four out of their last five meetings. Uh, they uh, have beaten the Cubs, uh, but they are ten and twenty-two. Their last thirty-two in Chicago. They're hot right now. Five straight wins for the Rockies. 17 and 42 on the road, though, versus a left-handed starter. Two and five, their last seven versus a lefty overall. That will keep me off the side on the game. Marquez is four and one for the Rockies. His last five starts. The Cubs five and two, their last seven overall. And one of the best home teams in baseball, 52 and 24. So I will not be betting against them today. I don't see too much value in the dog against the southpaw, but I do see a little value in the over as 7-3-2 and two for the Rockies, their last 12 road games. We talked about the win, but the Rockies with the left-handed pitcher, though, 7-1 and one to the under on the road, 13-6, and six, their last 19. The Cubs at home, we know, over 19-7-1, but 9-2, and two, their last 11 versus a righty to the under. So uh, Cubs on an under run, nine and three, in their last 13. But we got the umpire with uh, Bellino on the mound, eight and 10 to the over, his last five Friday events behind the plate. So I see a little bit of an edge for the over simply because we got some over stuff and we got the wind and we haven't crossed the nine. So uh, if you can get the eight and a half, I see a little bit of a value in there. Not a huge play, but something to keep you busy on a Friday afternoon before the big action gets here. So uh, next game.